This week's dish of the week is a firm favourite of mine. It's spicy mackerel melts taken from DJ Barbecue's Fire Food Book, and it's an absolute winner. So those that follow me on Instagram will know that I absolutely love the mackerel melts from DJ Barbecue's Fire Food Book. Mackerel grilled over fire is a match made in heaven. Top that with cheese, chilies, on toasted chia batter. It's absolutely epic, so I'm gonna show you how we make it. So first things first, we've got our mackerel. I'm using whole mackerel here that have been gutted by my fish supplier. You can use fillets, they will work just as well. So all we're gonna do first and foremost is dry the skin on these. Give these a wipe down with a bit of kitchen roll just to get that skin nice and dry. Once you're happy that the fish is dry, we're just gonna put a very tiny bit of oil over the fish, over the skin. This is also gonna help and make sure that the fish doesn't stick to the grill. So again, just all over that skin. That's all there is to it, prep wise. So let's go and get these on the grill. So we've got a nice hot grill, nice hot grate, nice clean grate. We're just gonna go ahead and lay the fish onto the coal. Once you're happy that the skin is crisped up and you've got a lovely bit of char on there, we're just gonna move these over to the indirect side, pop the lid down until they're finished. We're gonna take these off when they hit 55 degrees Celsius. Once your mackerel have cooled down, we're gonna go ahead and take the meat off of these, put it into a bowl and add some mayo. We're gonna put some of the skin in there as well because a nice charred, crispy skin just adds that extra level of flavor. And crispy fish skin cooked on charcoal is absolutely banging, so why wouldn't you chuck it in there? So let's just go ahead and start taking the meat off of these. Be careful not to put any bones into the bowl. Once you've picked all the fish off, you put it in a bowl. Just have one last check. Just go through there with your fingers. Just make sure there's no big, obvious bones. You might get some smaller ones that get away from you. Um, but to be honest, I've never had a mackerel melt where I've had a, a mouthful of bone. So um, the little tiny ones, I wouldn't worry about too much. Just take out any big, obvious ones. Now to the mackerel, we're going to go in with a good squirt of mayonnaise. Nice, generous pinch of pepper. Mackerel loves pepper. And of course, some salt. Then just mix that through. You'll notice we've got quite big flakes of fish. That's fine, that's how we want it. You don't want to mince it up too small. So now we're going to spoon this onto the chia batter. Once the mackerel's on, we're going to take some grated mature cheddar. Don't buy low fat stuff, it won't melt. So take this and just get this over each of those. Trust me, if you make this for your guests, they will keep coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back. It's such a winner of a dish. Back to the grill. Now we're just gonna pop these over the indirect side. We're gonna pop the lid down until that cheese is melted. Now they are called spicy mackerel melts, so we're gonna garnish these with some red chilies. So we're just gonna thinly slice these red chilies. Mm -hmm. 